What is the very latest on consumer sentiment and spending intentions? Hi, everybody. I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. Each week here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One, we are gathering the very latest on the state of consumers, audio, and media. Today, we're very excited to share the just released results from a new Nielsen consumer tracking study that was just fielded and released. This is the fifth uh, consumer spending and sentiment study that Nielsen has conducted since the onset of the pandemic a year ago. This particular study was fielded March 11th through the 15th, and it was released on March 31st. So this is hot off the press and brand new data. Nielsen uh, surveyed a thousand Americans and they compared the findings from this study to the prior four studies conducted over the past year. Nielsen has identified three consumer segments ranging from the most pessimistic to the most optimistic. The wait and see segment are those that do not feel things are normalizing or opening up. The proceed with cautions are in the middle. Um, they are kind of neither here nor there, the not the most optimistic, not the most pessimistic. And then the ready to go segment are the most optimistic about the return to normalcy. So let's take a look at the trend of these through, uh, three crucial consumer groups going back to uh, last April. So back in April of 2020, only 34% of Americans were in that optimistic ready to go segment about things opening up and normalizing. Now, it only took a month uh, for that number to jump up to 54% ready to go in May. And that pretty much held through the end of the year with not much change in the number of Americans that were in those um, three segments. This brand new study that just released saw the ready to go jump from 53 to 61%. We saw a decline in the proceed with caution group from 36 to 30%. And we saw an all time low, only 9% of Americans that are in the most pessimistic segment. Now, one of the most important aspects of the Nielsen study is they are asking consumers about their purchase intention across a whole series of categories from ordering takeout to buying clothes, to going to a car dealer, planning a vacation. So in the middle column there, the total, that's the percentage of Americans that say they intend to do this in the next month. The next column over is the heavy TV viewers and the column on the right are the heavy AM and FM radio listeners. Now you'll notice right away that the heavy radio listeners across the board are more likely to say they're gonna be spending across these various categories. So take a category like shop for clothes at a store or department store. 61% of radio listeners say they're gonna do that versus only 50% for heavy TV viewers or go to a car or truck dealership. 18% for heavy radio, only 9% for the heavy TV. So really across the board, if you want to reach consumers that are ready to spend, you'll find them on AM, FM radio. And if you average the heavy TV column and the heavy radio column, you get the 45% versus the 33%. Radio listeners are 36% more likely to have purchase intentions versus the heavy TV viewer. So definitely, if you want to drive sales now, today, you're going to find those spenders on radio. And one of the most crucial local ad categories uh, is new car sales and used car sales. Nielsen asked consumers in the next year, do you intend to buy a new or used vehicle? Purchase or lease, 28% said they did intend. It's about the same proportion of heavy TV viewers. But look at those heavy radio listeners, 33% say they're going to uh, be making uh, that newer used vehicle purchase. Heavy radio listeners are 18% more likely to be in the market for a vehicle. Why is that? Why is it? This is not the first time 
Nielsen has shown that in study after study after study, whether you look at Scarborough or MRI, radio listeners are always more in market for a car than heavy TV viewers. Why is that? Well, it has to do with the profile of the heavy TV viewer versus the heavy radio listener. The heavy radio listener over indexes on household size, dual income, working parents. The heavy TV viewer is retired. Kids are gone, small households. So the heavy TV viewer doesn't need that new vehicle as much as the heavy radio listener. So you want to move, if you're an auto dealer and you want to, uh, to drive sales in second quarter, we just had an awesome first quarter, but here comes second quarter. Uh, radio is where you need to be. And speaking of the car, uh, what's happening with the Great American Commute? Well, according to Nielsen, the Great American Commute has been resuming and growing over the last year. Back in April of 2020, only 39% of workers were commuting to work, leaving the home, and that has been growing steadily. 46%, 53, 61. Now, two thirds of American workers are leaving home, commuting to work. That's good news uh, for the radio industry, good news for the billboard industry, and a very positive trend from this just released Nielsen study. Now, what about another kind of commuting? What about kids going to school? Well, Nielsen asked this in October. They did it again in March. You can see on the right-hand side, the proportion of kids uh, doing in-person classes has jumped from 21 to 30%. Uh, kids doing a mix of both is pretty much the same, 25%, but there's a drop in children that are only doing the virtual classes. So a very strong trend here. Uh, and once again, what is on in the car when you're taking kids to work? Well, nine out of 10 times, according to Nielsen, the radio is in the car. So not only is AM FM the soundtrack of the American worker, it's also the soundtrack of uh, getting your kids to school. So what's happening with local retail? Are people still going to be ordering online and, and picking up curbside? Well, Nielsen asked people what they intend to do more and less of in terms of local shopping. And interestingly, folks say they're going to do less of the kind of order at home, pick up in store or do the curbside or have it delivered. Americans say they are going to be returning to the store. The number that say they're going to be doing more in-store shopping is 29%, triple the number that say they're going to do less in-store in shopping. And people still are going to be doing e-commerce, so you still see a nice uptick there. Now, what about the overall economic outlook? What's the consumer sentiment on whether the economy is going to get worse, get better, or stay about the same. Well, this is a very optimistic outlook, according to consumers in mid-March. Over half say the American economy is going to improve. Only one out of five say it's going to get worse. So basically, three times as many just about say things are going to get better versus get worse. So a very positive story there. So key takeaways here, uh, more and more consumers are falling into that ready-to-go segment. That's the most optimistic segment. That's an important segment because those are the spenders. More radio listeners tend to be in that ready to go segment. And we saw on the commuting side, among those that are employed, more and more are working outside the home. Two thirds of workers now commuting to work. More kids are attending classes. In terms of the consumer outlook, more in-store visits and e-commerce, less of the order from home and pick up at the curbside. And for the overall consumer sentiment, three times as many saying the economy is going to improve versus getting worse. And we saw across many, many, many categories, heavy radio listeners are more likely to want to be spending and spending now. And that's why Nielsen concluded that AM FM radio is going to be the soundtrack of America's reopening and spending resurgence. We have a lot more on our blog, not only on this topic, but we release weekly case studies. You can sign up and get that email uh, version of that in your uh, email every day or every week. Go to cumulusmedia.com, click for blog, or you can head over to westwoodone.com and you'll find the blog in the top right-hand corner. Thanks so much for the opportunity to share with you 
that just released Nielsen's study on consumer sentiment and purchase intention. Thanks so much.